By the way, so I did a What Makes This Song Great today, a Tears for Fears, and um, it probably got the highest uh, like to dislike ratio of any video I've done on any of the, uh, except for maybe Tool. Um, I guess a lot of people really like Tears for Fears. I love Tears for Fears. Uh, I didn't know other people liked them as much as I do. Uh, hold on. I'm going to get my acoustic guitar here. Check it out. Hold on. I know this is going to work here. There we go. Hold on. This is totally going to work. Okay, so I know that you guys are hearing this now. And anybody that's saying that the camera mic is clipping, I know it's not clipping here. That's an overall volume. That must be a head, headphone volume. Uh, yeah, okay, so flash sale on the guitar, or I'm sorry, for the Beato book right here, except the digital version. This is my version of it. 25% off. Never done it at 25%. It's a Halloween sale for the next 12 hours, but... You will learn everything that is in here, and there's a lot to learn. There's 461 pages of, of everything to know about the guitar, and actually, it's for any instrument. Um, okay, so let's talk about something. Let's actually learn something now that, now that everybody's on here. Okay, so... Uh, Yeah, we're hearing the camera mic. That's okay, though. No, we're hearing, not hearing the camera mic. We're hearing this. We're hearing this Samson mic. I know it's working. Oh, the code is 1031. Okay, that's Halloween. 1031. No, we're not. We're hearing this. Is that right? You know what? I changed the input before I started this. I don't think I can change it once I'm doing this here live. Let's see here. I'm not sure that I can. Um, yeah, I don't think I can change it once I've started the stream on here. I don't think I can change the inputs. If anybody knows about that, that would be really, really helpful. I don't know what these dots are here. Uh, here that turns it on and off i think um okay leave it it's all good okay i'm gonna take these off then because it's making me sweat like crazy okay so we're gonna learn something here move this out of the way a little bit here okay so um One of the things about, about learning the guitar, right, is to, um, when you begin to learn things, like for improvising, for example, uh, a lot of people will just learn things, pentatonic scales, things like that, but they don't really learn what how to use them and that's really the most important thing if i were going to start 
from the beginning and teach somebody. Like, for example, my son Dylan is just starting to learn the guitar as of this weekend. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, what am I going to teach him? If I want to teach somebody from scratch, what are the things that I would do again if I could learn from scratch? So there's a couple of things I would do. I would play, I would first of all, learn how to economy pick from scratch, okay? And I would also learn to play ideas. Um, I would not teach scales in the way that, that, uh, that I learned them. So let me tell you about how I learned scales. So I had a friend of mine that showed me the pentatonic scale, okay? He showed me it in five positions. So starting with the normal position that you have here, right? So that would be a G minor pentatonic. So then he went up, he said, okay, so there's five positions because there's five notes. Then he went up to here and he did. I said, okay, and then he went up here. Then he went up here. Then he went here. And then it repeats again. So he said, you know, you can actually move between the two different, between all the different positions. He showed me a lick like that, that, that went between them. So I did like that. I, I, you know, and that was really when I started to learn position changing, right? But, oh, somebody asked what economy picking is. Economy picking is when you do, if I were to go down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Okay, that would be economy picking. Economy picking is when you play uh, odd number of group uh, notes on strings, down, 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 and then you go in the same direction. So uh, if you do three notes or one note per string, you can continue on in the same direction. Down, up, down, down, okay? Down, up, down, down. But if you do two notes on a string, then you get into alternate picking. Okay, so that would be down, up, down. And why it's not economical because you're going down, up, and then your hand is moving upwards, and then you have to come back down. So obviously it makes more sense if you can go down, up, or, or if you go like this, down, up, down, whoops, down, up, down, down, like that. I'm trying to do it where you can see my this hand. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. You see that? So I'm going down, down. It's hard to see like this. That's economy picking. Now, if I was, or you can do three notes per string. Down, up, down, down. Right? That would be economy picking right there. Gambali style, as somebody just said. Be, be dead, dead just said that. Gambali style. So I would probably teach, I would actually teach both. I would teach economy picking and I would teach up and down alternate picking both. Um, because there is a sound that you get from alternate picking as well. Um, now, I would also teach things right off the bat like odd groupings. So odd groupings would be triplets, fives, sevens, things like that. And I'll tell you why. One of the reasons is that you get much more interesting lines. It's interesting. So when I, when my old band played, uh, toured with Megadeth, I jammed with Marty Friedman every day of the tour. Marty and I did. And one of the things I always loved about Marty's playing was that he always played odd groupings. Um, you know, he played lines and fives. And, and we talked a lot about this. And I, and, and I said, yeah, it's way more interesting when you do that, because uh, because the lines turn around in odd spots. And here's a simple exercise to do that I would teach, that I will teach Dylan, for example, uh, if you were just to do the pentatonic scale. So I go, now that's five notes, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I do have a video with Marty. I interviewed Marty on my channel here. I've been, I've been friends with Marty for, God, 20 years or so. He's awesome. He's the greatest guy and one of my favorite guitar players. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. When you start putting them together without a pause, you notice that the the uh, the accents go on the beat, off the beat, on the beat, off the beat. So that's on, up, off beat, right? But the thing is, when you're alternate picking, the, the accents are going to come on a downbeat, upbeat. So that is a, so, so it reverses the accents. And ideally then what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to combine different types of groupings. So I'm doing a, you know, so that would be a, um, that's kind of like what Eric Johnson does. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, three, four, five. So right there, I'm playing. I did a five, then a four. One, two, three, right? one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So right there, just that first part of it, listen. Okay, so um, Joe Bonamassa does that. All really great players do that. Steve Vai, everybody does that. Combines those, all the great players combine odd groupings like that. It's Joe Bonamassa does it because he, Eric Johnson does that stuff. So I would immediately start. Um, I would immediately start with lines like that because what you want to do is you want to start thinking in those ways. Oh, by the way, flash sale, Beato book, anything on my website, twenty five percent off. I've never done a twenty five percent off sale. I'm doing it only for the next twelve hours, and it's the 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 coupon code is one zero three one. It's a Halloween sale. Um, so, okay, so combining these odd groupings and video and audio are out of sync. Okay, well, this may be, what if I pause for a minute? Pictures going crazy, videos flashing, weird, wow. Better now, fixed. There we go. Sometimes you need to just stop for a second and it, and it catches up. Okay, so now this isn't just with the pentatonic scale, but this is the same if you use the major scale, for example, okay? So if I take, uh, let's say I take G, um, let's say, uh, say I take F major, okay? So that's F major there, right? So I, you can play it anywhere, you can play it here. So if I start to do odd groupings here with it, so right there would be an odd grouping. So you can hear that those um, one, two, three, four, All these kind of ideas are in my book, okay? I have tons of ideas like this.
Um, Um, so these are the kind of things that I would do um, if I were teaching somebody from scratch is to um, is to break up your uh, phrases like that, more interesting um, lines like that, you know. <laughs> If I were to do like, um, um, uh, let's see. So, um, Anytime it's, I just, it's, it's weird. It's kind of, it's hard for me to explain this because I just think in this way now. Um, um, so those are some of the things that I would do. And I would also work on groupings like this. Things like that. That's hard to play. So I'm hearing, I'm playing. These are really, really interesting intervals, I think. Um, though really hard to play Woo, that is really hard so I'm not sure I have to think about how many notes in that grouping do last time. That's what I did. I had the extra note in there. Ah, that's hard to play. I did it better before. Um, anyways, okay, so this is not my new setup. My new setup did not work. Um, maybe hybrid picket. Way easier. Uh. It's weird, it doesn't really ma matter. 
kami Wim. I am keeping the downbeat. Da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da two three four. That's tiring. How can that be practiced from scratch? You just you just have to. Um, I'm just taking the notes of F major there, and I'm skipping a string. These are really good intervals there. If I'm taking. play it slow so you can pick it up you can always redo the video and just uh play it at half speed Whew. that is tiring though so when i teach dylan I'm going to teach Dylan things like this right off the bat so that he, because he can hear everything. He knows all the notes that I'm playing, but I'm going to teach him just to play lines like this and not teach him to play boring stuff um, <laughs> right off the bat. So um, anyways, play a one power chord. Yeah, so Dylan started the guitar this weekend. Well, I made a deal with him that I'd uh, uh, he needed to learn Heartbreaker. Um, he wants me to buy him this new monitor for his computer. And I said, uh, oh, there's my brother John's on there. Um, so I said, uh, you got to learn Heartbreaker. And he said, how do I learn it? I said, go to YouTube and learn it. But my brother John, who's on here now, uh, we were up visiting this weekend, and John sat down and was actually teaching Dylan. That was cracking me up. They were down, they were down in John's basement, and John was uh, was showing Dylan, and um, and I had Dylan just uh, he just picked up the guitar right handed, even though he's left handed, and when he naturally plays guitar, he flips it around left handed. But it's obviously better to play. Um, it's obviously better to play right-handed because there's way more instruments available that are good instruments for that. Um, anyways, flash sale, 25% off anything in my store. I've never done a sale like this. It's only until noon, to, or it's for 12 hours. So whenever that is, 9 a.m. tomorrow. And the code is 1031, 1031, okay? So you can get my Beata book because people are always uh, writing to me. And I know the people live, half of the people that subscribe to my channel are not from the United States. And there are places that, um, that uh, you know, where it's, it's hard, you know, that, that having a deal like this really helps. So, um the Beato book is a theory and improvisation book. Here it is. This is actually a physical one that, that I uh, printed out for myself. It starts right with the beginning of theory with how to name intervals, okay? It basically fills in all the stuff I talk about on this channel 
without uh, me starting from scratch. That's why I don't teach things from scratch like some channels and just teach ridiculously simple stuff. Um, so... You're a lefty. You never had problems with the guitar or the piano. <laughs> I didn't go to the gig. How long did I stay to the gig? No, John told me the gig was was uh, seven minutes away from my my brother Ray's house that I was staying at. And Ray said, "What are you talking about? Seven minutes? It's like twenty five minutes away." And I said, "I'm not going." <laughs> Sorry, John. You can't find my Queens of the Stone Age video. Uh, what makes the song great? They're all all my videos that have been taken down are at are on flat5.com. That's f l a t f i v dot com. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna type this in here. Flat five. F l a t f i v dot com. Here's the sale. The the uh, the code. Um code for 25 percent off this is only good for the next 12 hours one zero three one there we go um righty who plays left interesting very interesting um Has Brother John ever jammed with Mike Gladstone? He knows Mike. I don't know if he's ever jammed with him before. Okay, so so this is good. I tried this thing. The microphone is not working right. I'm not sure why. I got to go back and experiment more with it. Um, so there you go. So Beato Book Sale. I'm sorry. Anything on my website is 25% off. But... Um, it's uh the code is 1031 one zero one zero three one is there anything new coming from Aiden uh you know I need to call Aiden and see what's up uh okay you guys are the best thank you and uh, I'll get this thing sorted out I'm sorry that it didn't work, but we learned something anyways. All right. See you guys later.